certified by WeatherAid for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, good morning and happy Valentine's Day. Also, happy birthday to my mom. Today really isn't Valentine's Day for me. I know, it's my mom's birthday instead. I know, and she'll be here in the next few days, and I know that they're going to be celebrating. So, right. as we head into today, you can see that those rain showers, if you're taking your sweetie out maybe for breakfast this morning, uh, you're going to need the umbrella, maybe even a rain jacket as well. You can see we have some heavier bands of showers north of I-44, and if you look back to the south and the west, more showers are to come as we head into this morning, and then throughout midday as well. Getting a little bit closer to these heavier showers over in Lake Ozark, Camdenton, and Waynesville, these are about to move out of the region. You'll be drying out, but then another wave is going to be coming in as well. So timing all this out for you as we head into 11, 12 o'clock today, you can see we have some heavier pockets of showers, especially up near Clinton, Nevada, down through Monette. Then we have that line segment that's going to be moving through around one o'clock for Camdenton down in Ava and Mountain Home before the sun is actually going to be coming back out today. However, a few locations could be seeing some showers, maybe even some storms, including up near Stockton, Nevada, Clinton. Those are those showers and storms back in Kansas that y'all are going to be seeing as we head into this afternoon and this evening. So a majority of the region may be seeing half an inch, maybe an inch possible, but I think that's going to be as much as we get. We also have very, very very windy conditions, which is why we have a wind advisory in effect from now until 3 a.m. tomorrow. Gusts could be up to 40 to 50 miles an hour. I think some areas could even be seeing locally higher amounts of uh, 55 to 60 mile an hour winds. So now's your time. Go outside, get your trash can in before the winds pick up too, too much because yes, it is going to be in your neighbor's yard. Wind gusts throughout the region are going to be 45, 50, 55 miles an hour. Throughout today, temperatures 57 here in Springfield and up in Lake Ozark 59 over in Joplin. That sun will be coming back out this afternoon and really we're going to be above average as we head into our overnight lows 40 here in Springfield 38 over in Joplin. Then as we head into tomorrow, it's going to be a gorgeous day, but by the time we get into the evening, the overnight hours, that's when things are going to be starting to switch just a little bit into Wednesday night. You can see that the risk is very low, including down in Branson, Fayetteville, all the way through eminence. That is a marginal risk level one out of five. Now any storm in that region that does get Going, we'll have the potential to have some hail and some very gusty winds. So we're going to be watching that very closely. Here's your seven day forecast. Today, things are going to be drying out later on. Then look at tomorrow 69 degrees, sunny skies before that next batch of showers comes through. And unfortunately, that front, well, is going to be making us very, very cold. A high of 34 degrees on Thursday, 41 by the time we head into Friday. And then as we head into this weekend, things are looking brighter and warmer. Jesse, hey, that's me. Hey, if you're heading up to the parade too on Wednesday in Kansas City, it doesn't look like it's too bad for the commute for you. And uh, 